okay so now let's go ahead and set up our stages one by one okay so as you can see this is our first one which i have named as map one okay in which we have this whole environment so now what i'm going to do is right here in the middle actually let me first of all select the directional light global volume and the taken seven stage and create an empty parent for it and then name this as environment okay and when you do that then right here the second step is to create a 3d plane okay and when you create a 3d plane let's first of all reset it and when you reset it make sure to move it to the ground like this okay and when you move it let me make sure that it is perfectly on the ground like this okay then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the mesh collider from this and I'm gonna add the box collider to it okay as you can see then let's change the scale X to 2 and the Z to 2 as well or actually let's make the Z 3 okay as you can see it is covering this whole area now when you do that then what we're gonna do right here now is create a 3d cube okay let's reset the cube where it is right here okay let's move it up to the ground then let's move it right there okay like this Let's select the plane, make the scale x3 as well. Then select the cube and move this cube right here. Okay, let's make the z3 and move it a little bit more in the upward direction. Okay, then let's change the scale x to, actually the scale z to 9 or 15 okay it's too small let's cover this whole area so i'm gonna make this 30 okay 30 is a good value for it then you can duplicate it and move it to the other side right there let's make this uh, minus 90 okay it should be I think 180 or minus 180 why is it not on this side okay let's just leave it on zero let's just forget the forward vector thing okay move it right here okay so now we have a wall right there as well then duplicate it again and this time rotate it like this which is 90 and move it back there okay to this side right here then duplicate it again and move it to the other side right here okay and when you do that then select the plane and the cubes and disable the mesh renderer you can also delete the mesh renderer if you want okay and now the reason I have added these walls is because I don't want the player to move to this side okay I just want both of the player to be in the middle and fight each other okay and we added this plan because the player character and the opponent character will be standing on this plane okay that's it now you can select these things and edit in the environment and let's close the environment like that and with this our map one is done now let's go ahead and create a new scene where is it right here scene name this as map 2 then double click on it to open it up and then right here click on this map 2 
Okay, this will be our second map. All right, so you can add it like this. Here it is. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the directional light and the map, create an empty parent for it, name this as environment. Then let's create a plane. So right here I'm gonna create 3D plane. Make sure to reset it. Here it is. Then change the x value to 3 and the z value to 3 as well all right now remove the mesh collider from it and instead of that add a box collider okay as you can see discovering this whole area or you can say this whole stage then what we are gonna do is we are gonna select these things okay and add a box collider to it okay add a box collider to this as well then select that one add a box collider then this one box collider okay make sure that one by one you add box collider to all of these things so that the player doesn't go off the stage Okay, we have to move closer now. Okay, let's add a box collider to it and that's it. Add the plane inside the environment game object and that's it, okay? So our second map is ready as well. Now let's do the third one. So click on scene view, create a new scene. Name this as map 3. Then double click on it. Click on map 3, drag and drop it. Okay, here it is. Our player will fight in this area. So what we're going to do first of all is select the directional light and the map itself. Add it in a parent game object, name it as environment. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a plane. So 3D plane, make sure to reset it. Right here it is. We can move it a little bit up like that. And then change the X to 2 and the Z to 2 as well. Okay, it is covering... Okay, this area is missing, so make the X as 2.5. Okay, now we're discovering the whole area. Then uh, disable the mesh renderer and then remove the mesh collider. And instead of that, add a box collider, okay? Now, we need to add the walls. So what I'm going to do is, if we select this whole thing, we can add a box collider to it. Then we can select this door, add a box collider to it, then select this thing. Okay, they are in separate parts, so we can't add a box collider to that. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is, right here, I'm going to create a 3D cube. Let's reset its transform so that it gets right here in the middle. Okay, make the Z3 and the Y2. Let's move it right here. Okay, we can rotate it move it back right there all right now let's make the C 15 okay and set it up like this okay 
then you can duplicate it and move it to the other side actually let me press ctrl z first of all move it to this side and instead of minus 28 make it just 28 and put it right here okay then you can duplicate it again make the y zero now and rotate it to this side okay it is 90 we already added a box collider to that but let me just add this as well then you can duplicate it again move it to the other side right here okay duplicate it again and rotate it a little bit then connect it with this thing okay it looks good now you can duplicate it again and instead of one two three make it minus one two three and move it to this side like that okay now select the cubes disable the mesh renderer and that's it then move the plane and the cube inside the environment and with this all of our three maps are ready and if you want you can add even more maps in the same manner to your own game okay but since i have three so i'm just gonna use these three okay